Object naming allows us to easily differentiate various objects. You can rename an object by clicking on its current name in the top left of the object's property panel. Then type in a new name and press return on the keyboard to save. To the right of the object's name, you will find a series of buttons. On groups and when multiple objects are selected, you will have buttons to ungroup and group selected objects. And on a grouping, you can zoom in and out. Check out our tutorial on edited grouped objects for more on this topic. Further to the right, we have the lock and unlock button, which works similar to the lock tool on your hand. And lastly, on the far right, we have the close window icon. On the Behavior tab is a toggle for visibility. If visible is toggled off, the object is invisible. You can then choose if it casts light or admits light. This can be great for creating invisible walls and can also be used to light your world. Below Visible is a toggle for Collidable. If collisions are turned off, you will see players and objects pass through the non-collidable object. Please note, if you do make invisible lights, we highly recommend that they are non-collidable so that users don't bump into or walk on them. Under Collidable, we can change motion from None to Animated. Animated objects can be as simple as a script, to show and hide the object, or as complex as recorded animation playing back and forth on a loop. To record an animation, click the record button and move the object using your grab tool, and when you are done, click stop. You can review the recording by pressing play. Next, let's choose whether the animation loops continuously or back and forth. Back and forth is great for creating motion that loops seamlessly and continuously will jump to the beginning when reaching the end. If the loop is set to none, the animation will pause in its final position after the animation is over. When play on start is toggled on, the animation will automatically play when the world is started. If play on start is toggled off, a script will be needed to play the animation. We will cover this in another tutorial. You can also adjust the speed of the animation to be slower by setting the number between 0 and 1. To increase the speed, use a number greater than 1. Next to Animated is Interactive. When you click on Interactive, your object will default to being grabbable. This allows users to pick up and interact with the object. Alternatively, you can select Physics, which gives the object gravity and physical motion. You can even select both to allow more interactions like throwing the object. Please note to be grabbed, the object or at least one object in the grouping must be set to collidable. Also, players pass through grabbable objects even if they are collidable. You can also use custom gravity, which allows you to change the direction and amount of gravity affecting the object. From the physics material drop-down menu, you can choose a material type. These options change the way the object behaves, its air resistance, slide, and even bounce. From Attributes in the Property Panel, Grouped Objects have the attributes Position, Rotation, Scale, and Tag. Position tells you where the center of the object is located in the world along the X, Y, and Z axis. Rotation is also in an X, Y, and Z format. When an object is grouped, scale starts at 1, 1, 1. And on individual objects, scale is relative to meters along the X, Y, and Z axis of the object. The tag attribute allows other objects to receive collision events when it collides with another object. We will discuss this more in depth in a later tutorial. Individual objects also have style attributes, including texture, material roughness, and color. Music 
On the More tab of the Objects Property panel, you will find Collision Events From. This allows the object to receive collision events from players, objects, or both, and it can only receive one type of tag. We will use these functions in another tutorial. When an object is set to grabbable, the Hand Off Grab To section allows you to define who can grab the object. No one means that the object can only be grabbed if it's not held. If set to only you, the user holding the object can pass it back and forth between their hands. And when set to anyone, everyone can grab the object even out of someone else's hand. Grouped objects can be attached to a user's avatar. It can be set to Sticky or Anchor. If Sticky is selected, the object will attach wherever the group is let go on the user. If Anchor is selected, it will snap to a position on the user after dropping it on their avatar. You can adjust the anchored location in the Anchor Position section and set it to anchor to the head or the torso. The Attachable By section allows you to choose if players can remove the group from another player or if only the owner can remove the group. Please note we recommend having a collaborator or tester present to help with setting an anchor position. You can then slowly change the position until it is just right. You can also use your selfie stick to assist. Great work! We covered a lot in this section and as you continue using the tools everything is going to become easier and more familiar. Please feel free to revisit this section anytime. Next, I would love to share some incredible artistic tips from many various creators in our community.